Okay, so here is home brunch. I have my coffee and then also the other half of the sandwich. I'm laughing because this one definitely has mushrooms in it. The other half that I ate yesterday had no mushrooms. So I feel like if you do get the sandwich, in the past I've had no issues with it where the they were evenly distributed, but uh, perhaps I should have checked it um, before eating the other half yesterday. It was good though. Um, so I just wanted to let you know, this is what it should look like. Um, there's also some like goat cheese in it. It's quite nice. Good morning, it is Saturday and I have already shown you my breakfast slash home brunch for today. Um, but yeah, I woke up very late today, which was marvelous because I've been overworked and overtired for the past week or so. Um, so I think I woke up around 10, which is like super late for me. I usually wake up at like 6.45 or 7 on the weekends, which is like not ideal, but like it happens. Um, so yeah, I've just been kind of um, planning my trip to DC with my parents some more because my mom is now back in commission. So my skin is like not happy either, so I'm not going to put makeup on I don't think. I might do my eyebrows just in case I do end up going outside. Um, I went outside on a walk last week without my eyebrows on and it was like very, uh, I felt very self-conscious about it. Um, I don't know if I really like this one, it kind of is like, I don't feel like, let me let me rephrase this. Um, I think it's a fine moisturizer, but I think if I would have paid full price for it, I would not be happy. Um, like the price is kind of expensive for what it is. It's just kind of like a very average moisturizer. Like I don't feel like it's really doing much and it kind of is heavily scented. I do think I'm gonna open my window. This is like super boring for you, but I'm gonna open my window in my other room just to get a little bit of fresh air in here. But the one issue is it gets so dirty so fast in my apartment with the windows open because it gets dirty fast without the windows open. It's just like part of living in the city. But once the windows are open, it's like a thick layer of dust everywhere from the outside air coming in. Okay, so I obviously got distracted, so I'm gonna make a salad. So I pulled off all the chicken from the, <laughs> I was gonna say carcass, you know what I mean, the chicken that was in the Instant Pot. I pulled all the meat off. Um, I'm gonna make broth later, but I have the meat here. And then I also have some avocado tzatziki dip from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna use this as like some sort of dressing, I guess, um, for lack of a better word, because I think it sounds like it'll be nice. And then I have the remainder of this first baby spring mix from Organic Girl. I got this from, um, I think, Gorillaz? It might have been Joker. I don't know. They were the same exact product with the same exact expiry date, so that's what it looks like. This one looks a little bit slimy, so I'm going to just remove this one piece, but everything else looks great. Okay, so I'm heating up the chicken in the air fryer. This is what it looks like. I have a little bit sneaking suspicion. I'm not gonna enjoy this that much. It has like a weird texture. It's kind of chunky. Um, so I think I mentioned when I bought it that I didn't read the packaging. I just like read the name of the product and I didn't realize it had jalapenos in it. And I don't enjoy jalapenos because they're kind of, I think these are the pickled kind, which are like not my fave. So <laughs> we'll see. Lunch for today. Um, so as I showed you, I just threw the chicken on top. Um, I made it a little bit crispier in the air fryer um the reason being is i like crispy chicken skin and there was some skin on the chicken um but yeah this will be lunch i obviously haven't done my eyebrows yet but i'm just editing i'm having some issues with my speaker on my macbook air ever since i got it fixed so i might need to take it back to the mac store it's kind of making like crackly sounds so i have to use my noise canceling headphones these are the ones that i got to review um it's on my channel if you're interested the unboxing and the review so this is the savitz i think it's the savitz 10 um but i do like these ones they're like pretty comfortable actually i just completely forgot i had them until i was looking at my bookshelf where i keep all my extra um electronics and stuff so it's over there so i'm using it fix the problem so now I know that the audio isn't messed up on my video it's just my laptop this looks silly but um basically I cleaned all of my Nespresso pods so I had all of these and I washed them out they're drying now I also have washed this so this is where they like get disposed to but what I've noticed with the refills so these are the ones that I refill myself um there's a lot more coffee that gathers at the bottom of this I think it's because the seal isn't exactly great here um I've noticed that as well it doesn't have like a super duper tight seal so that is one con but I do like being able to switch out my own coffee and stuff like that but I'm going to continue using it at this point I think it's like a four out of five stars for me um but I do see there are some clinkers in terms of like user error issues so it is like you have to be like very cognizant when you're putting the the little seal foil seal back on there um so it's not great if you're in a hurry like I am usually okay so I'm sorry if you hear my video that I'm watching in the background but I'm gonna do a face mask tonight I'm gonna use this Yunsa pumpkin turmeric one it's been open for quite a long time so I'm gonna use it up I only have about this much left so 
Okay, so I'm editing a bunch of vlogs today, trying to get them all out, so I'm finally in 2022. Um, but anyway, I was just looking, because I'm having a bag of chips, and none of the um, expiration dates on these lays that I bought from Boxed have the same exact <laughs> expiration date. Like, this one is 31 May, but the other one was, like, 12 May um, when I opened it, like, a couple weeks ago. <laughs> so I had been, like, rushing to finish all of these, but yeah, I have plenty of time. Okay, so I obviously did nothing today, but I should have been in here cleaning up, especially cleaning my makeup brushes, but that'll be tomorrow's task, I guess. But I do need to clean up my um, skincare area over here because it's a little bit cluttered. It's all of my everyday used items from this week. I was right here. So if you're interested, that's what it is. Yeah, but this is a hot mess over here. Okay, so that took literally two minutes to clean up because everything was put away now. Still need to clean these, so ignore them. But um, I do have quite a few like um, primers back here that I need to prioritize. So I'm trying to shift them over here so I can see them a little bit more. Um, so I already moved a couple of them. Like the face blur is almost out, so I just want to prioritize that. Um, I also set out this floss eyeshadow squad. Um, it's like just peachy. Um, so I want to prioritize trying to use this one. It's from the Allure Beauty Box. Let me try to open it. Um, just because I want to see if I like it or not. I can't remember if I, like, thought any certain way about it. I do think it's very buildable, and I think a lot of people didn't like it because it wasn't quite as pigmented, I guess, than, like, people were expecting. But, I mean, I anticipated it being perfect for me because it's, like, very subtle. Um, but, yeah, I have a bunch of other stuff over here. This is, like, my travel bag, so I have it ready to go. Um, but I also started putting out my eye patches over here, so I have been liking using them at like midday like maybe like two o'clock or so so I want to remember to use them like that so I kind of took a break for a while just because I've been so busy but it was a nice relaxing moment um during my day so I also have my go-to allergy meds here um and then I have these peel pads and toner pads I think I might be actually sensitive to something in this so I might actually bring this with me to DC to get to my mom or else my dad <laughs> my dad has been liking my skincare more than my mom I think these days um but yeah I think I might I also want to choose out a different um serum now that I'm saying that though I remember I took out that Wander Beauty one back there and then I just haven't used it since I picked it up um but yeah I want to also maybe look for a new um face cream like a day cream um because I'm not a huge fan of the Mamond underneath my makeup so I want to have something that's a little bit more smooth I don't know how to say it this is like a gel cream so it's like very um watery kind of slippery texture so I want something a little bit more I don't know, smooth. Um, and then I also have quite a few eye products open as well. Um, I do want to try to remember to use these masks. So I have two masks up here. So I have this Acure one and then the Frank Body one. I haven't tried the Frank Body one yet just because I was like, oh, I'll, I'll use it after I use the Acure. But the Acure one is in the back, so I always forget about it. I also need to remember that I wanted to buy an earless pump on Amazon for this um, water cream in the back from Dear Claire's just because it's so freaking watery. <laughs> Um, but then I also put the powder products back here. Um, I was having difficulty with this phase zero one. I don't know how to fit it in this particular organizer. It's like, um, basically I just need to use up one of those circle <laughs> shape things. Um, but yeah, I have a bunch of lip products. All of them are kind of similar, if I'm being completely honest, in terms of tones and things because I have a very specific style that I like except for the jelly bar. It's kind of like an orange tone. Um, I do have an orange, um, What's it called? The Moomin Marker Tint. I have one in my purse. So I have to remember to grab it out. It's in my other travel purse. And then otherwise, yeah, looks a lot better. At least I think it looks better. Good morning. It is Sunday and it's a time to get ready for the day. Um, I don't really have that many plans like outside. I might go to Target just because it's Easter today. By the time you see this, it's probably like 4th of July. Um, but yeah, so I'm kind of considering going out to Target to see if I can get any like you know, Easter steals um, in terms of candy. Um, but we'll just see about that. It's like a little bit of a walk, but um, not too bad. And then on top of that, I didn't sleep very well last night. So I think I went to bed at around midnight, which is very late for me, even on the weekends. And then I woke up like wide awake at 2.37. I remember because I was like, oh my gosh, it has to be like 6.30. And I looked, I was like, oh man, 2.37. Um, so yeah. It was a rough night, so I went back to sleep, luckily around like 4 I think. Um, I read some like weird articles about like vacuums and I read a very stressful money diary. So I don't know if anyone else watches or reads those on Refinery29, but money diaries. The one I read was a person in Orange County who is who has a joint income of like over $300,000, like roughly $350,000. 
and that person has no retirement savings and then also overdrafted their account multiple times um, stresses me the heck out. It's like the po perfect embodiment of like lifestyle creep in my opinion. It's probably more like lifestyle sprint. It's not really much of a creep I don't think. Um, but yeah, so a lot of people in the comments were like I think this is fake but I feel like it's very common. Um, so the other thing is is like that particular person uh, was raised, I think it was Jehovah's Witness, which it was one of those um, religious groups that is like they think that doom is coming so they don't save for the future. Um, so I mean I feel like financial literacy I think comes a lot through how you're raised so let me just say this is, it was just a very stressful diary to read because um, I'm like the opposite, like complete opposite. I'm like a lifestyle regression. Like the um, the way I'm living now is even more frugal than I think I was when I was like in graduate school and I had no income so it was just kind of like yeah it's very stressful to me to read that because it's also like they made like decent money but it was also like I think in the beginning of the article you know how there's like the summary if you're if you're a money diary enthusiast you know what I'm talking about there's like the part where they're like talking about like struggles and stuff and I think I seem to recall that this particular person only just started making like 220k and then I also read one right after it that was like completely opposite so that person was in graduate school and living in the DC area and they only made it around 14,000 I think dollars and that person's life was like so much more planned. I feel like even though they were making significantly less money like 14,000 versus like 330, 340,000 is so different but the $14,000 per year person was saving already for retirement, like thinking about saving for retirement. And the person who made $14,000 is 23 versus the person on like the 300 k plus salary is 44 You can't really do much once you get to be that age. Like there's no, not really that many government support systems in America at least to help you out if you have no retirement savings. Okay, so done with my rambling about money diaries and my sunscreen is on, so I'm gonna go make my coffee, get ready for my day. I'm actually very hungry. I stopped myself and I was gonna have another bag of chips, but I was like, no, you need to only have one bag of chips today. So I feel proud of myself yesterday, but that just means that I woke up really hungry. Um, but good news is, is I lost about a pound and a half this week, either through just basically eating my leftovers that I home cooked versus like, you know, that new um, experiment I'm running versus also being just like slammed with work. So anyway, I will talk to you later. Okay, so that like got grossly frothy. <laughs> so we'll see. I'm a little bit grossed out by collagen, but I'm gonna try to make it into a mocha here. Okay, it definitely has a flavor. <laughs> I don't like the chocolate flavor, and also it's a little bit sour flavor. Uh, so I think that's the bone broth issue. At least it doesn't taste like straight up like. The chocolate is very artificial flavoring, but um, I'm gonna finish this because I definitely need the caffeine. I don't want to waste it, but it's also like that was gross. Um, so personally, I'm not a huge protein powder person, and the fact that this one is made from bone broth and collagen kind of freaks me out, but um, I'm gonna just finish my coffee. Okay, so I need a new beauty sponge. So I have these from um, BoxyCharm. Okay, so I just pulled it out. It's like very squishy. So when I was in the package, it felt a little bit firmer, but this is very squishy. So I'm curious to see how big it gets once I wet it. So hold on, let me go wet it and then I'll hold it up to next to the other one that's in the package. Wow, this little buddy, it like doubled in size. Look at that. It was actually quite amazing when I was putting it underwater. So, um, so far so good. It is very spongy though. I like mine to be a little bit firmer. Sorry, my hands are super wet because I just wet the sponge, but it is a very um, fluffy sponge texture. Switching back to this camera, my face is like really pilly. I don't know if you can see that, but like I think it's the moisturizer that I used today. It's like not acting well with the uh, serum. 
but I'm trying to get ready. I have to film um, my Allure unboxing for, what month is this even? April. And then I'm also gonna, right after that, do the Allure vs. Brock Boxy Charm for April as well. And then hopefully I'll be able to get both of those edited and scheduled on my channel so that it's ready to go. And I can just keep moving on forward so I have everything pre-scheduled. Um, because I think that it's gonna be pretty crazy here for the next month or so. Um, it's just like, even if I'm not changing jobs, my uh, whole entire life outlook is very crazy right now with my work. Um, so um, I just chose out this new sponge and it's like super fluffy. I don't know how to say it. It's like very fluffy, but um, you know what the beauty sponge is that there's usually like when you get it wet, it's not like doesn't feel like it's dripping. I rang this out really, really well and it still feels like super wet to the touch. So I'm very interested to see how this applies here. Um, so I put way too much primer on, so we'll see this. Okay, so in terms of this, I think it's soaking up all of the primer into it. I don't know if you can see this, because I had like kind of swiped most of the primer onto my face, but now it's like in the sponge, I think. Yeah, I don't really know if this is doing much, so I'll give it a test with like actual makeup. So I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown today. Okay, so I spread it around my face, so let me try to t tap this in. Yeah, so I'm not entirely convinced it's doing much, um, but this is like what it looks like now. <laughs> So I think a lot of the product is like inside the sponge now. So I'm gonna try the Double Coverage Longwear Concealer from Peripera. Because I have a lot of pimples that I need to cover. Okay, I think this looks really bad today. I don't think I like the sponge. It's like just not really moving anything the way that I like it to. So I'm gonna have to like try to fix it with a foundation brush. Maybe it's because I wet it. Because I don't usually wet my beauty sponge that much. Like maybe spritz a little bit on it, but... It's like super wet. Okay, it looks a little bit better now that I brushed it out. I just think that this is like too fluffy and too porous. So I like mine to be a little bit denser. I think this one is just like not very dense at all. <laughs> so to try to fix it even further, I'm gonna use this Misha powder. Okay, that looks slightly better now on camera at least. In person, it's a little rough. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Um, maybe it'll be better once I put my eyebrows in. <laughs> This makeup is gonna be so bad today. Okay, it's one of those days. Um, so uh, today I'm going to prioritize, or this week I'm going to prioritize using this Floss Shadow Palette, and this is the Just Peachy Eyeshadow Squad. Um, so I got this in an Allure Beauty Box, and I think it's really my style sort of colors. Like, it even goes with this very neutral shirt. Now that I'm looking at this, I should not have worn this shirt today, because I always realize that whenever I wear it when I film, it pulls the white balance really funky, but... It's too late now. I put on my foundation. I cannot take this shirt off over my face without messing up everything even further. Okay, that looks better. It's starting to look a little bit less dead on my face. Um, so I'm gonna use eyeliner. I forgot that I meant to uh, eyelash curl today, but it is what it is. I really like this mascara. It's like very volumizing and lengthening at the same time. Like I can definitely see my eyelashes. I was just editing a video where I was trying the new tint one. I mean, it's not new anymore, um, but I had tried it from BoxyCharm, and that one was like, it just fell flat. Like, it wasn't good. It didn't lengthen. It didn't volumize. It smelled bad. <laughs> it wasn't like it went bad. It smelled. It had fragrance in it, so it was um, a green apple scent, which is a very weird flavor, or scent rather, for mascara. Um, but yeah, it was weird. All around weird. So I'm going to use this today. Um, so I'm also going to use this one here. This is the Roman, um, like a, I actually don't know how to pronounce this. I think it's Rome and, so Romaine, I don't know. Um, but this one is number 16 Bernie Nude and this is a zero velvet tint. I really like it actually. So it kind of goes on like, um, it's like a cream to powder. And this one here is Ofra. So I think for right now, I really like this more uh, medium shade one for my highlight, and then underneath my eyes I use a lighter shade. I have no intention of using this darker one because it like looks not great on my skin color. <laughs> then finishing it off with this Ciate London Setting Spray. Can't remember, I think I got it from FabFitFun. That sounds right, FabFitFun. My skin does not look great underneath this makeup today. I don't know what it is, but it looks very cakey. So hopefully when I do my um, unboxings and stuff, hopefully the camera quality is not good enough and it's not good enough right now for you to see it, but in my real mirror and with my real eyes, looks terrible today. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go set up and I'll do the unboxings and I'll show you what I get up to the rest of the day. 
Okay, so I have edited a bunch of videos today. This is a terrible angle. Um, but yeah, so anyway, the update is I am not making broth because that seems like an endeavor. And then on top of it, the other update is number one, I'm having a, like three videos trying to export at one time. But also, I got a push notification from Twitter, and I, like, never use Twitter. I only have an account so I can check the subway status. So, like, why is my train delayed? That sort of thing. Um, but now the push notifications are super weird. I either, I either get push notifications about Boston or else cycling. And I feel like that must mean that somebody hacked my account because, like... I've only been to Boston like twice in my life and then also like cycling. I can't even tell you the last time I took um, any sort of uh, consideration of getting on a bike. Um, but that's the update. I am also likely taking a nap because I'm very tired now. Okay, so I'm going to meal prep some veg. So I had this in my um, cupboard. These are some baby Dutch yellow potatoes. I'm going to cut them up like I'm on a sheet pan along with these sugar snap peas. I'm actually just going to wash these off. Forgot about them in the crisper, so um, they're looking a little bit worse for wear, but they're still good. And then similarly with the Brussels sprouts, I'm going to cut them up and put them on the sheet pan with the Dutch potatoes. And then I also have some hot sausage here that I'm going to put onto a sheet pan as well. And it's going to be like kind of meal prepping for the week just so I have something ready to go. I might also throw in some rice into um, my Instant Pot with a little bit of the broth from last week that I was able to save from making that roast chicken. My eyes are watering. This is the aftermath. So I decided to make some lemon turmeric rice with the chicken broth. I also threw in some of the chicken fat from the top instead of oil today. Um, and in there is like a whole onion, four cloves of fresh garlic, two lemons, and a pound, not a pound and a half, a cup and a half of rice and about a cup and a half of chicken broth. Um, I did add a little bit of water just because it looked a little bit thick. Um, but yeah, let me get all the Instant Pot situated and stuff and I'll clearing up and then I'm gonna clean up that uh, sugar snap peas there too. Okay so I've labeled these guys gonna put them away now so let me show you the process. So I'm gonna put this guy over here with the others. Oh man it doesn't fit. I'm gonna have to declutter soon I think because I only want to keep the bare minimum. These are two eye products so they go which not that one that's lips here mascara and liner hair products go on the bottom okay, nail products sunscreen hmm mask I'm trying to remember where I put the masks this is serum here's a mask I don't think this is where they should go, but for right now, oh, there's a nail product in there too. Okay, so this looks and sounds great. So let me pull it out. Got my oven lid on upside down. So I'm gonna have to flip these, but they look good. Let me just check on the sausages. The sausages look fine as well. I'm not gonna flip them though, they look fine. So let me just flip these and I'll put them in for another 10 to 15 minutes. I somehow managed to finish all three cleansers I keep by my bathroom sink, so I finished the pores no more. Oh my gosh, <laughs> worst timing. And then also the Saturday Skin um, Peel Gel. I finished that one yesterday, and then I also finished the Creme Shop Cleansing Balm. Air of my ways, forgot to poke a hole in the sausages, so I'm a little bit scared, so I'm going to keep them in the back there. Um, the potatoes are not done cooking yet, so I'm going to um, just keep them in the oven. And for dinner, I'm just going to have some rotisserie chicken like from lunch, so just imagine the salad the same as exact thing as lunch. This will just be meal prepped for tomorrow. Potatoes are done and Brussels sprouts are done. The rice is also done by natural releasing. I'm gonna go take out my trash and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm just packing up my meal prep. So I have two of these containers of the turmeric rice. So I put in a lot of veg today. So like an entire onion and it was a huge onion. Um, so I have two of those plus another little box here. In here I have the sausages and my what are they called? Sugar snap peas. Um, and then I also have the Brussels sprouts in here. These got crisped up wonderfully. They're like little chips, so that's my favorite. And then also the potatoes. The potatoes could do with a little bit extra, you know, love and care in the air fryer. Um, but yeah, I'm all set for the week, so this is going to be great, and my fridge is going to be very full. 
Okay, so I just chose out this whipped greens one, so I'm gonna see what it looks like. I haven't done a sniff test yet. I do typically like pharmacy products. They smell very natural, not so sweet. So this is the texture here. So it's like kind of like a mint pistachio green. I guess the scent is kind of like cool and refreshing. I wonder what the smell is supposed to be. Moringa and papaya. So <laughs> I don't know why I'm showing you cleanser. It smells very nice. Oh, sorry about that weird motorcycle. <laughs> but as an update, I also completely spaced that I needed to replace the peeling gel in my bathroom as well. So I'm gonna just um, pop this out of the box, label it with the date of opening, and then also just put it in the bathroom as well next to my sink in the little um, caddy that I use. They're all clean, ready to dry. Hopefully some of them will dry in time for tomorrow morning, aka these like fluffy, like this one, the highlighting brush. I don't have that many. And and um, this foundation brush. So actually this one looks like it might be breaking the barrel part. I don't know what word this is. <laughs> it's starting to get unglued. Um, so this is like very old. This is from Ari Taum, which is like the Korean Sephora. I don't even know if it still exists, but this is like their like Sephora line alternative there. So it's like the Ari Taum brand um, brush. I think it was like three bucks. So <laughs> it, it's, been, it's been a good brush for like, you know, since 2015, so however long that is. Um, but yeah, let me set this down and then I'm gonna go get everything ready to go in the common room and come back in here, finish out skincare, and finish out the rest of the vlog.